We have reported recently on the growing list of health benefits being linked to vitamin D. But now there's a new study which says it may help some cancer patients live longer. Researchers found colon cancer patients with higher levels of vitamin D were less likely to die of the disease. Vitamin D, a wonder drug? Here's John McKenzie. When Joanna Fuchs was diagnosed with colon cancer last year, a blood test revealed she was severely deficient in vitamin D. I was obviously very concerned and very worried. So too was her husband. Dr. Charles Fuchs is the researcher who announced today that colon cancer patients deficient in vitamin D are almost twice as likely to die over a 10-year period. These findings make considerable sense because in the laboratory, we find that vitamin D reduces the growth of colon cancer cells, prevents its spread to other organs. This is just the latest in a wave of new studies on this nutrient. Vitamin D deficiency has been linked to a greater risk of type 1 diabetes, multiple sclerosis and rheumatoid arthritis, heart attacks among men, deaths from breast cancer, asthma attacks among children. Vitamin D seems to be very helpful in making your immune system do what it's supposed to do. The government recommends getting 200 to 600 international units of vitamin D every day, but those levels were set 11 years ago, primarily to keep bones healthy. People used to get all the vitamin D they needed from the sun. But as we use more sunscreen and spend less time in the sun, more Americans are becoming vitamin D deficient. The solution, take a daily supplement. But doctors suggest getting a blood test first to see exactly how deficient you may be. That's what Joanna Fuchs did. And now, with a daily vitamin pill, hopes to remain cancer-free. John McKenzie, ABC News, New York.